Look sexy for a good time. Getting this hand. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Me and Lola sister are headed out right now to go to 99 Ranch Craving Store as well as to get some ramen and do some shopping around Chino. And we will take you around. So the ramen place that we decided to go to, they actually had run out of the chicken box. So I went ahead and I got a chicken teriyaki bowl, which was actually really good. There was a bit of a wait to get in, but it was fairly quick. It only took about like five minutes or so. Um, I really like how they decorated the interior of this building it makes it feel very, you know, it has that Japanese ambiance that you would expect. Hey guys, so we are here and we're about to go into 99 Ranch Craving Store. 99 Ranch is actually one of my favorite stores just because of the immense selection of items that they have that you can't really find anywhere else. I do wish that there was one a little bit more close. I actually have this. And of course, as you know, with my massive soda obsession, I can't help but get a bunch of these. Okay, so I found gluttonous rice flour. I've been searching for this forever to make some butter mochi ever since I had them in Hawaii. Oh look, sexy little Gudetama. Okay, so I've actually always wanted to try different kinds of rice, so I'm actually going to start today and I'm going to try and get some of this and we'll make it later in probably another vlog. All of the gyoza. So many different kinds. This is the brand that I usually get, it's just that they don't have any chicken ones at the moment. Alright, so that's the food court. We didn't go in there today because we ate elsewhere, but we'll go again in the future. And, and, they also have all of these cool machines. I know that these machines are really popular in Japan, so there's a bunch of little different ones, including this one. From Demon Slayer with the cute little Tanjiro. Guys, I'm gonna be reunited with my lasadas. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that they had noodle soup. Ah. I am about to eat the habit. Yes. Hey guys, so it was really windy today, so I stayed in and did nothing, but I made myself a pizza and look! Look at how it came out. I think this is the best pizza that I have made so far. Hey everyone, it's actually been a while since I vlogged. I feel like I haven't really done much, but there's been a lot of change going on. Anyways, I just came to tell you real quick that I happened to get one of these. So it came out today, but I've seen that there's been some people playing yesterday. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start and play this, so maybe I'll get some footage to share with you guys. Okay, so I literally spent three entire days playing this game. It was so addictive and I think that this is the most fun that I've had playing Pokemon in a while, maybe since Pokemon Go came out and besides the original launch of the Pokemon games when I got into them of like gold and silver. Um, I think that this is a game that we all wanted and deserved and needed. I saw online that there were some people criticizing the game for the graphics or so. I don't know. I'm not like that much of a gamer so I don't really see a problem with it. I thought that it was really well done. It feels like a watercolor kind of. And the whole game just feels magical. Like you can walk around and explore the whole area and then the Pokemon feel like they have a little personality too which I really like. The only thing that was the downside of it is that it doesn't have a national dex so that means that there's a lot of Pokemon in this game that are not going to be in it and you cannot get them. But um, I think that the trade-off was that we actually have a huge maps to explore, which is this, this game is probably like five times the size of a regular Pokemon game. Um, not to mention the fact that you can explore every single nook and cranny of the maps. So I thought that that was really cool and I'm, I personally really like this game. So thank you for the makers of it and whoever had the idea to actually make this happen and 
But yeah, here's some footage of me catching some Pokemon and those damn pears. Let me tell you the other thing. There was all these Pokemon that did not need to die. But that I had to, I had to do it because they were killing me first. They were the ones that started it. Good morning. It looks like in the past two weeks my peach tree has actually blossomed. So I am just admiring the little peach blossoms, I think. Maybe the peach nectarine. Okay, so today we're gonna go to the Lunar Festival. I've been really excited for this for the last uh, couple of days. It's a festival in downtown Riverside which celebrates the Lunar New Year, so let's go and explore. Every single year they put up lanterns strung across the street, but this year because it's a scaled back event, they don't have the lanterns across the street and it's also, it usually goes all the way to Market Street, but this year it looks like it's only about half of the size. Just for New Year, 万事如意. May everything go as you wish. Sui Sui Ping An, peace to you every year. Jian Kang Fu Yu, health and prosperity to you. Thank you very much. Two, one. Demon Slayer. The topping is ube. We cooked the purple yam for a very long time. My wife makes me do it. <laughs> it's like it takes forever, and then and then we put the latte on top. Oh, yeah. On that. Okay, I'm looking right here again. Okay, two, two strawberry milkshakes, two red velvets, a pistachio, and a salted caramel. So I actually wound up finding some macarons, so I bought a few. They were actually really, really good. Um, they're really firm and chewy, and I like that. And like the center was delicious. Oh my god. I feel like I'm like starting to become more of a food channel than like a weekly, or maybe I just eat a lot. I don't know. But yeah, actually, I wound up getting a lot of sweet stuff. There is a little Gengar right there. And there's also a lot of stuff that you can purchase that you typically don't see, such as little carps. I got some little carp flag banner things to hang up, so I was kind of lucky to find those. And yeah, there's a lot of performances and people doing traditional things. We missed the lion dance because it happened an hour earlier before showing up, but we were there for a good while. I saw the lion dance like two years ago, so didn't miss much there. But yeah, you can even, there's even like a booth that you can dress up in traditional Chinese uh, garments. And they'll take a picture for you for a donation. And there is, yeah, a lot of food, a lot of anime, and everything that I really, really want. The only downside about it is, is that it's really crowded. So if you're not right. much into no. crowds, um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Alright, so I'm satisfied. I got my New Year's red envelope and then Jonathan got me this. Thanks, Jonathan. 
I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to press the like button and then click subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate the views and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Alright you guys, have a good week.